Hello, folks. So, this might not be a crazy long episode, but I thought I'd tell you about this one place. And if you read the title, you already know what it is, so screw it. Let's just say it. The Wax Museum in Branson. Branson is a little town in Missouri. And that's our main vacation point, our vacation spot. We go there a crap ton of times. Like, we used to go there at least twice a year. Holy hell. I actually, we went there so many times, I think I needed to take a little break, actually. And I have taken a break. Um, we went there a lot, okay? And, uh... Now, what are the main highlights of us going to Branson? Silver Dollar City. I mean, come on, obviously. I mean, that's not the main purpose, but that's kind of one of the main highlights there. That we go to there at all, so. Silver Dollar City is the theme park they have there. And I haven't been there since, uh, they have... I haven't been there since they opened that Time Traveler roller coaster. I really need to try it out. They have about, I think, five roller coasters. You could say, no, okay, well, they have seven. But they have two roller coasters that don't even count. I probably could make a whole separate episode of just about roller coasters and how they need it, what they need to do to qualify as roller coasters. But let's, we're not here to talk about that. Let's just say they go, they have two rides, and they're too damn slow to be called a roller coaster. Too damn slow. I'd say a roller coaster needs to go at least 30 miles an hour to be called a roller coaster. And even then, that's pretty slow. You might, if you want a decently fast roller coaster, you might want to do one that's at least twice that long. Or fast. It's my bad. But anyways. So, yeah. So, that's just... Man, this episode might be longer than I thought. I can actually talk a lot, a lot of this stuff, but we need to get back on track. So... Yeah, they have restaurants there, as you can imagine, and there's this one episode, what episode, what the hell, there's this one restaurant that you do not want to go to, and I promise after this we'll talk about the Wax Museum, but right now I just want to warn you guys about the, the restaurant you don't want to go to, it's called Buckingham's, they suck ass, like... One, one, we were there, the one woman was, uh, told the waiter or waitress, whatever, that their food was too cold. The hell? And, and we, we, when we got there, while we were there, we asked, or we didn't ask, but they didn't even offer us a cup of water. Like, most restaurants, you know how they, like, ask you if you want water to start out with before you get your main drink just to be generous you know well this this restaurant didn't give a crap they didn't give a crap so we just got up and left and that's pretty rare that my dad's family ever does something like that but you know what screw it we're not giving them our money they suck crap and the waitress to make things worse the waitress just saw us leave and she didn't even say a damn thing yeah, so don't go to Buckingham's. It's a piece of dung. But anyways, alright. Like I promised, we'll get on to the main topic of this episode. We'll talk about the Wax Museum. Which is way better than Buckingham's, but it's not, still not great. So, what is a museum's purpose? Well, they've been around for a long time, man. Sometimes they take old mansions and turn them into museums. Um, was that relevant? Probably not, but... But anyways, so museums are basically where you go to see famous artwork and stuff. Nowadays you can just Google it, so what's the point of going there anymore? But that's not the point. So me and my dad, or my dad and I, I should say, or whatever, it doesn't matter. So, my dad and I... We're wanting to do stuff in Branson, so we went to the Wax Museum. That's the building with King Kong on the top of, uh, on that little Empire State Building look-alike. It has King Kong on it. 
Um, what's weird though is that King Kong is not only on the top of the building, he's also inside of it. That's right. I know it's not real, but come on, be consistent, people. Like, he's in the building, and he, he's, he's a painting on the wall, but they have this, this big King Kong hand coming out of the wall. And, uh, yeah, so is he on top of the building or inside of it? Make up your mind, please. But anyways, so, one sign that this place is kind of messed up is, uh, well, you would imagine kids would want to take their hand, parents would, kids would want their parents to take pictures of them, or the parents would want to take pictures of them, even whether, whether the kids want to, want them to or not, but that's not the point. A lot of people get their picture taken behind King Kong's sand and they're pretending like King Kong is grabbing them in some crap. Uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. We've seen, there's a lot of pictures on display there of people doing that. So, so I, that's what I did. I went behind the hand and dad, my dad went, went to take my picture with his phone. But then this one woman was like, oh, hold on, you gotta pay. The hell? Yeah, that's right. We gotta pay to take pictures of us behind the freaking King Kong hand. Uh, this might be a minor complaint, but I think it shouldn't matter. It should just be... Uh, we can take pictures of the King Kong hand if we want. I mean, maybe they don't want us taking pictures of the wax statues in there. Because if we took pictures, we could just look at them at home and then... We wouldn't have to go there anymore, or they're afraid we might upload the pictures of the internet and people won't be going there anymore or something. I don't know. Because why... They're just trying to stay in business, so... But why shouldn't we take our picture with the King Kong hand? I mean... Uh, anyway, so... What is... This place is wax statues, right? Yeah, it's just a bunch of statues made out of wax. And that's pretty much it. Not that exciting, to be honest. I mean, the place was alright, but... But, uh... I'm um, sorry, I was about to have thought. Um, it was short as freaking hell. Like, we went, we breezed through there in like 30 minutes. I was expecting to take it, we were expecting it to take like at least four times that much. Like, two hours. But nope. Just 30 minutes. And it was nothing but wax statues. Now, this place is not horrible by any means, but I... I think your time and money would be better spent if you went to Ripley's Believe It or Not in Branson, Missouri. Go there and said that place is far better. The Wax Museum's not bad, but it's not really worth paying to go see wax statues of. When you could just Google them online. Ripley's Believe It or Not has a bunch of little gimmicks and toys and crap that you can mess with and touch and stuff. Like, for example, there was this one little th thing that you lift up, like... I don't know how to describe this, but this little, like, wooden door that you lift up. And right above that it was a sign that told you some sort of thing like math problem to do in your head like oh divide this by that multiply this by that or whatever and once I did that I did you can take any number and follow the steps and I came up with the number five and guess what when I lifted up that door it said was your answer five yeah, so it's some sort of math gimmick, and pretty clever, I gotta say. It's way better than just those bland-ass wax statues. Again, the wax, the wax museum is not bad, but go to release it, believe it or not, instead. Unless you've already been there. But I don't know if the wax statue is really worth going to. So, if you're wanting to go to Branson and... 
you, you don't feel like going to a theme park, go to Ripley's Believe It or Not. And I mean, there might be other places that are there that are interesting that I'm not aware of, but... There, there's also the Titanic Museum, which is... Not that interesting. But anyways, so yeah, that was this episode. I hope I gave you some helpful advice, and... Well, whether you're a fan of wax statues or not, it sort of determines on if you go to this place or not. But you might want to try Branson out. It's not that bad of a place. Um, it's kind of interesting. Ripley's Believe It or Not has a lot of locations, and it's not just in Branson. There's actually lots of locations, so... But anyways, um, that was this episode. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.